Sefer Bamidbar is coming to a close. We're reading the last two parashiyas, Matis Maser. We're going to say Chazak Chazak this week. And we're finishing the story of Bamidbar, the story of the Jews in the Midbar, the 40 years of the Midbar. And very interestingly, if we pay attention, in these parashiyas, many, many laws, many, 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 many halachas, uh, which are connected to the land of Eretz Yisrael, of getting the land of Eretz Yisrael. I'll give you a few examples. First of all, uh, the story of B'nai God and B'nai Ruvain. We find in this week's parasha, they come and they say to Moshe Rabbeinu, we don't want our place to be in Eretz Yisrael, we want our place to be in Eber Ayadin, on the eastern border, with today's Jordan. We want, we want our place to be over there. And then we have the story of the Ori Alevim, which is also in Parashat Masay, the land which is given to the, to the, to the Shevet Levi, because they don't get a portion in Eretz Yisrael, but they get certain cities in Eretz Yisrael. We have the exact borders of Eretz Yisrael. We have the, 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 the halacha, that there has to be a Nasi of every Shevet who ratifies the decision of Meshra Rabbeinu through the Gairo, when he picks the lottery, then there has to be the Nasi who accepts that. And uh, we also have the, the story of the Benes Salafchad, which, which comes back in Matas, started in Parshat Minchas, comes back in Matas, Matas, said, we want our place in the land. We also have this, the, the halachas of, of Yerusha, the halachas of inheritance, which is also called Nachla, just like we, Yarsh in Eretz Yisrael, we got our Yerusha, we got our estate in Eretz Yisrael, we have all the laws of the estate. The Gemara in Bab Basra says that the Nesim were a very important part of, of, of deciding the the place in, in Eretz Yisrael, because if the Nasi wouldn't agree, he had to agree on behalf of his whole Shevet. He was like a shliach of each of the Jews and his Shevet to say, yes, we accept the, the, the decision of Moshe Rabbeinu through the girl that that place is going to be ours. The, the Nasi had to ratify it. Without the Nasi, it wouldn't have been possible that each uh, Shevet got their place in Eretz Yisrael. Every Jew had to agree. And the shliach was there the, the Nasi, the, the, the Nasi of every Sheva was their shliach in getting it. Furthermore, it says in Nitziv, we see that this wasn't just some sort of agreement through Moshe, through the people, through the Nasiim. It was an agreement which was dictated by, by Kaddish Baruch Hu himself through the, through the, through the Gairo. They had to pick a Gairo, and then the Gairo had to be accepted by the Nasiim. You're a little further from Yerushalayim, says the Nitziv. You're a little closer to Yerushalayim. Everybody had to accept it, but, but, it, but, it, but in essence, it was decided by Kaddish Baruch Hu himself. Says the Nitziv, we see from here, from all these, from all these parishes, from all these things, we see that the, our, our association with getting our portion of Israel is not just a piece of land, a piece of real estate. You got better real estate, you got worse real estate. Every Jew has to have real estate in Eretz Yisrael. There's something very, very deep going on. Our connection with the, with the place in Eretz Yisrael where we live, where every Sheva gets their portion in Eretz Yisrael. The, the Torah says that if a person that if the Yidin will not properly keep the mitzvahs in Eretz Yisrael, then the Shekhinah Kav Yochah Hashem says, I cannot live in Eretz Yisrael. I can't be in Eretz Yisrael. As we know, if the Shekhinah leaves, then we have Golos. Then Klai Yisrael also has to be exiled from Eretz Yisrael. Why is that? Why is it that if the Shekhinah the Shekhin is less in Eretz Yisrael than it, than it is in other places, why is it that when the Shekhinah leaves, then Klai Yisrael also has to leave? It says the Nitziv. It's, it's actually, it's actually when, 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 when we begin, when we... Says the Nitziv, if we don't properly keep the Torah mitzvahs in Eretz Yisrael, then the Shechina Kav Yochel says Eretz Yisrael is not hailing enough for me to be there. Of course, ideally, the Shechina has to be in Eretz Yisrael. It's the land of the Beis Hamikdash. It's the land which has kedusha in it, inherent kedusha. It's the land which was promised to in Yaakov. But if the Yidden do not keep the Torah mitzvahs properly in Eretz Yisrael, the land Kav Yochel cannot accept the Shechina. The Shechina leaves. But the Shekhinah, even though, even though it's, it's, it's preferable and ideal that the Shekhinah should be in Eretz Yisrael, but it's critical that the Shekhinah be among Kla Yisrael. So if the Shekhinah cannot be in Eretz Yisrael, Kla Yisrael also cannot be in Eretz Yisrael. The minute the, the, the land of Eretz Yisrael cannot accept the Shekhinah, at that moment, the Yidin have to be exiled from Eretz Yisrael and have to be somewhere else where the Shekhinah can be among Kla Yisrael, not in Eretz Yisrael. Eretz Yisrael demands a much higher level of Kedusha, of Tara, of Shmir, of Mitzvahs than anywhere else in the world. So if the Shekhinah can't be in Eretz Yisrael, the Shekhinah has to be found among the Yidin who are living in Chutz Laaretz. The, the generations, our past generations, we witness to the fact that millions of Yidin coming back to Eretz Yisrael. Definitely there's a sign over here that the land of Eretz Yisrael in some way is, being, is once again being able to accept the Shekhinah. If the Shekhinah would not be able to be in Eretz Yisrael, then millions of Yidin would not be able to be in Eretz Yisrael. Of course, we're very far from the Geul Shlema. We're waiting for the Binim Beis HaMikdash. And when Kla Yisrael comes as a whole back to the Beis HaMikdash, back to their home where the Shekhinah can be found completely in Eretz Yisrael. 
But even from the fact that in, 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 the, in, the, in the situation of today, where millions of Yidin are coming back to Eretz Yisrael, we see that on some level the Shekhinah is able to be found in Eretz Yisrael among the Batu Midrashim, among the land of Eretz Yisrael, among the Yidin that are keeping Shemir, Sayyid and Mitzvah, we have to be very careful, those who are in Eretz Yisrael. We just went through a period where even in the shuls we weren't allowed to come. We know the Gemara Bracha says that the shuls and Chutzars have status, have the status of Eretz Yisrael itself. Because Baruch Kaviyachu was telling us, now I don't want you in the in, in the shuls even. Not only like you can't travel to Eretz Yisrael, nobody was able to travel there, so I don't even want you to travel to the shuls. Now Baruch Hashem, because Baruch was telling us you can go back. We have to be able to, to understand. We have to once again uh, focus on the kedusha of the Beis Knesset, of the kedusha of the Beis Medrash, and also the kedusha of Eretz Yisrael, of the land of Eretz Yisrael. It's not just another place, not just a piece of real estate. It's a place which demands a level of kedusha and a level of tahara. Now that we're entering Chodesh Av. The Chodesh of Tishabov. Tishabov is a very sad day. It's a, it's a day. It's a day of, of tainus. It's a, it's a day of Avelus, but it can also be the day of the of the great Yom Tiv, of coming back there to Israel. May Hakadosh Baruch bring us back there to Israel, bring us back to our land. As we say the words Chazak, Chazak, Minus Chazek, we should be zeichen this month to go back there to Israel to be able to. Uh, to, to appreciate the Kedusha and the Tara and the Shemir's Torah Mitzvahs that Eretz Yisrael demands, that the land of Eretz Yisrael demands that the Shekhinah can come completely back to Eretz Yisrael and with it, of course, all the Nidche Am Yisrael that we all return to Eretz Yisrael in this month of Av. This has been a short thought on Parshas Matis Maseh.